it's in standard phase mode, you see, and you can stop it and you can feel that it's definitely pulling. Okay, what it is is the power pack itself is keeps cutting in and out because I've got it on full. All right, but okay, let me just put that on to here. Okay, and put that on there. There we go. No, it's not loading the power pack so much, but you can feel it's definitely turning and there's definitely a positive torque in one direction and it won't go backwards. You see, look, oh, he says. What happens there is, I think what's happening is it, it's because of the relays. Because obviously there's a delay, there's a mechanical delay that it actually would make it up. But you can see that it's very, very hard for it to turn in the back backwards direction. <laughs> yeah. So I think as a definite result of using relays, we're getting spurious results. So as soon as we go to the solid state stuff, then things will start working out properly. Yeah. See? Definitely turning in one direction now. If I stop it. Yeah. Yeah. See? Which is interesting. Very interesting. Because all I've done is basically is I've got the uh, I've got it set up so that I could definitely tell, right, that when it was stationary and it was pulling like that, it was just it was it was doing self, you see. So it was locking it, right. It was the uh, magnetic field was in the same direction as the sensor, so that meant that it, it wasn't going to turn anywhere because it was pulling towards itself, right. And then I stepped these along one, so that I knew for a fact that it was the neighbour, right. And that's resulted in this, you see. Now, like I say, I can spin it backwards, and you can see it, it even stays spinning for a while. But I'm pretty sure that that's due to mechanical delay, it's just literally because it's spinning fast enough so that the relays take so long to actually actuate. And then, obviously, because it's sequencing backwards, that it spins that way. So that's the standard 60 degree. Right? And I guess what I can do now is actually make it 120 degrees by stepping on the long one. Let's see if we can work that one then. Hey, stopped. Now then, let's see. I'm moving them all along. I hope I've got it the right way, because I could be going back to self now. <laughs> so I'll put it there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, nothing. No, that's back to self. I can feel it. Because what it's doing, basically, is it's just pulling it... Effectively, it's pulling it towards the sensor that it's on. You see? So that's actually just locking it up, and it's doing nothing more but basically pulling it towards itself. So I've actually, what I've done is I've gone backwards there. So now if I take that out and step on a long one, and you'll see it'll start moving as soon as I get these in. And it looks like we're going to go backwards now. Let's see. There you go, see? <coughs> as soon as I pulled the last one out. Right, and now it won't go that way. See? Oh, he says, see? So I've sequenced it the other way now. So what I can do now, right, is make it 120 degrees. And you'll see it go faster. See how it's going faster now? There we go. So that's 120 degrees, and you can hear it turn faster, can't you? Yeah. And it may well turn that way now. Yeah, it does. And that's because of the phase wrong. There you go. And then I can do it again to make it a full 180 degree phase shift. Watch this. Let's see if that will work. While it's spinning, it should make it work. And you'll probably hear it kick in as soon as I get the last ones in. Right, that's a 180 degree phase shift now. And that means that it will spin in either direction. And it is doing, see? 180 degree phase shift. And it will do it in either direction. You see? Now if we now go back... I pull that out, go back to 120 degree phase shift. Yeah. Right. Uh, it'll favour one way, but it'll go in either direction. Right. And then go back again. And we go back again. So this is going back to your standard 30 degree 
uh, 60 degrees, you see? So it's slowed down. We're not altering the voltage, all we're doing is altering the phase of the uh, coils. And then finally, uh, we'll go back to self, which means zero degree phase shift. And now you'll just see it stop. All right, that'll slow down as I'm, I'm transposing these across, of course. There we go. I've only got one left, and then that's it. So we've got no phase now. And then, what I could do now, right, is go to a, a, a phase in the other direction of 60 degrees. And it'll start moving as soon as I get most of them across, I think. Uh, there we go. There we go. So that's in the other direction now, you see? And it won't go backwards. Right. <coughs> Right, and then we'll do 120 degrees, and you'll see it speed up. You can hear it speeding up as I'm transposing it across. And that's 120 degrees, right? Which means it will go backwards, right? Because of the delay in the relays. And then we can go to 180, well, you know, 180 is 180. Which is very interesting, right? Because the torque is, is, is there more, you see, so there's a trade-off between torque and speed with phase shift. So you can use the phase to increase the speed of the motor and you can even give it beyond 180 degrees, you can give it 270 so long as you can, well, you're probably best off not going beyond 180 degrees phase shift, you know, but you can use, you can actually use time delays as well to make it so that you're advancing the phase even further, yeah. So that's interesting, and I'm going to stop there now, that's the end of my